Graph the next trigonometric function. Because we're working with sine, I want you to graph one whole period. What to do? First, find the amplitude, A. But remember, amplitude must always be positive. Now period for this function is 2 pi. How do you know? You can follow the formula. Two pi divided by b, how much is b? b is one. Means what? Period is two pi. Now you have to find the important values of x for sine. Remember, count using halves of pi. The first is zero. The next is one half of pi. The next two halves of pi. Equals pi only. The next is three halves of pi. And the next four halves of pi. equals again. Now we have to use the typical values of sine. These values must be memorized. Sine starts always with zero, and the next value is one. The next zero, the next is negative one, and the next is zero again. You can check these values using your calculator, but it is not necessary. You must memorize both the values of x, counting by halves of pi, and the values of sine, starting with zero. Now, you can find the whole function. We have to find the negative two sine of x. What to do? Now the only thing is multiplying by negative two. Times negative two, the previous values of sine. Negative two times zero equals zero. Negative 2 times 1 equals negative 2. Negative 2 times 0 again equals 0. Negative 2 times negative 1 equals 2. And the last, negative 2 times 0 equals 0 again. Now find all the values of x on your graph first. We have pi divided by 4, and then the next is pi divided by 2. We have pi, which means the next is 3 halves of pi. Now find all the points. Remember, use the first, the value of x, and that is the negative two sine of x. First, the top x, and that is the negative two sine of x. Do the same for the next point.
Now find all the points on the graph. We'll start with 0, 0. Next, pi over 2, comma, negative 2. The next, pi, comma, 0. The next, 2 halves of pi, comma, 2. And the next, 2 pi, comma, 0. Connect all the points. And that's it. That is the graph of negative 2 sine of x. Again, what to do? You have to find the five values of x that make it possible to divide the period into four equal parts. These values of x that I recommend start with 0 and count in halves, 1 half, 2 half, 3 halves, equal to pi. And after you use the typical values of sine, starting with 0, alternate 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0. And finally, find the function that we are looking for. That's it. This is the graph.